Marhaban, ahlan wa sahlan bikum. Today's lesson is going to be on page 32. As for page 30 and page 31, I would suggest just go this for reading. You have dialogue 1 and dialogue 2 for, for, for reading, particularly for uh, madrasa. So it's very useful there to go and, and, and use as a reading practice. Now, let's go to page 32. Page 32, you have family and friends. What we need to do, first of all, is to look at this passage, which is on page 32, and see whether you can translate it. So, Ismi Hassan, that's easy. Ismi Hassan. My name is Hassan. Li Uchtun Smoha Nadia. Li means I have. You can say Indi as well. I have. Uchtun is a sister. So I have a sister. Ismoha, her name is Nadia. Her name is Nadia. Abi Rajulun Tawilun. Abun is a father. Abi is my father. Rajulun, a man. Tawilun, tall. Abi Rajulun Tawilun. My dad is a tall man. Ismuhu Yusuf. His name is Yusuf. Wahua Tabibun Fil Mustashfa. Wahua he is Tabibun a medical doctor. Fil Mustashfa in the hospital or at the hospital. Wa ummi hiya mu'allimatun fi madrasati. Wa ummi and my mom. Mu'allimatun hiya mu'allimatun. She is a, a teacher fi madrasati in my school. Hiya mura'atun qasiratun wa jamila. She is a short lady, a short beautiful lady. Ismuha, her name is Zainab. Li sadiqun smuhu Muhammad. I have a friend. His name is Muhammad. That is the passage you have here in Arabic on page 32. Then we're going to have a look at exercise 23 on the same page. This is a uh, uh, English which you need to convert into Arabic so we're going to do that together as well let's do exercise 23 on page 32 it is a translation from English to Arabic so the exercise is this my name is Yasmin you say Ismi Yasmin I have a brother, Li Akhun, or Andy Akhun. His name is Jalal. Ismuhu Jalal. My father is tall and thin. Abi Tawilun Wanahifun. His name is Khalid. Ismuhu Khalid. And he is a teacher in my school. Wahua Mualimun Fi Madrasati. My mother, she is a nurse in the hospital. Ummi Mumaridotun Fil Mustashfa. She is a short and beautiful woman. Here, Kosiratun, or here, Imra'atun hiya imra'atun qasiratun wa jameelatun. Her name is Layla, ismuha Layla. I have a friend, li sadiqatun ismuha Fatima. That is the translation and, and exercise 23 for you. It means Yasmin, li akhun ismuhu jalal. Abi Tawilun Wanahifun Smuhu Khalid Huwa Mu'allimun 
في مدرستي أمي هي ممرضة في المستشفى هي مرأة قصيرة وجميلة اسمها ليلى لي صديقة اسمها فاطمة Let's now go through the vocabulary on page 33 uh, so that we can identify individual vocabulary غرفة uh, that means a room and that is a noun خشبي wooden wooden is an adjective مذكر masculine مرآة a mirror a noun and is feminine معلقة hanging and that is an adjective and is a uh, مؤنث uh, uh, feminine على preposition on جدار a wall that's a, that's a, a noun منخفض is a, an adjective as mean low in terms of height مرتفع as mean high in terms of height as well بطانية a blanket as a noun and is feminine uh, مفرش bedspread and that is a noun and is مذكر masculine ناعمة is an adjective uh, that means soft um, feminine مصباح a lamp and that's a noun مذكر masculine دمية a noun that means doll and that is feminine now let's now go to page 33 and do exercise 24. Exercise 24 is a translation of the passage that you can see on that page. Let's go through it together. في غرفتي in my room. In my room are مكتب خشبي مربع. A square wooden desk. Desk مكتب خشبي wooden. Um, مربع is a square وحاسوب جديد a new computer ومرآة مستطيلة a rectangular mirror معلقة hanging hanging على الجدار on the wall وسرير منخفض a low bed على سريري on my bed طانية حمراء a red blanket بطانية حمراء ومفرش أخضر and a, uh, a green bedspread a green bedspread ووسادة ناعمة زرقاء وسادة is a pillow ناعمة is soft and زرقاء is blue so and a blue soft pillow على مكتبي on my desk there is مصباح قرنفلي or وردي a pink uh, lamp مصباح قرنفلي or مصباح وردي وتحت سريري دمية and under my bed there is دمية a doll now let's do exercise 25 together and it's on page 34 again there is a picture that you are looking at uh, to do exercise 25 what you need to do is identify the items and remember their names in Arabic, such as you have sa'atun, you have a wall is jidarun, and table tawilatun. Look at uh, on the table we have hasubun, maybe hasubun qadimun, and midya'un, wa hatifun, wa kitabun. And this is as sarir. Al sarir you have dumyatun, hidaun. Uh, we have uh, al-bab, uh, babun mughlaqun, مثلاً, and haqibatun, kursiyun, kuratun. So, having identified all these items, you can put them into very simple uh, sentences. Uh, on the wall is a clock. 
Remember, there is no a verb to be is in Arabic. That's implied. Uh, it is implied when you when you are speaking Arabic. Al jidari on the wall. There is a verb to be here. Is saatun a clock. And on the table are again that verb to be. On the table are a computer. You can say hasubun kadimun. Wamidyaun and a radio. Wa hatifun a telephone. You can describe that as well. Wa hatifun ardiyun masalan, for example. Wa hatifun ardiyun a landline telephone. Wa kitabun and a book. You can say wa kitabun azraq as well. Now, فوق السرير on the bed is a doll. على السرير على السرير أو فوق السرير دمية فوق السرير دمية وتحت السرير and on the bed حذاء is a shoe as well حذاء Next one on the closed door is a bag. Had the bab, so we can wa alal babil mughlaqi wa alal babil mughlaqi wa alal babil mughlaqi haqibatun haqibatun Behind the door there is a chair wa khalf al babi كرسي خلف الباب كرسي and under the chair is a ball وتحت الكرسي وتحت الكرسي كرة وتحت الكرسي كرة thus conclude exercise twenty five now as for exercise twenty six it is an opportunity for you to experiment. Sit down in your bedroom or living room or in your kitchen. Look around you, label things in Arabic, write them down, have a pen and a paper, jot them down, say, ah, oh, I know the name of this in Arabic and that one in Arabic and that one in Arabic. Then start describing them. You have a load of uh, adjectives that you can use and you have colors as well that we have learned as well as a demonstrative pronoun. Uh, I have explained to you uh, quite a bit of a uh, structure, how to compose sentences in Arabic. So this is your chance, exercise 26, to do that and write about a page for me. Why not? You have plenty of uh, vocabulary and you have learned a lot already from book two. So good luck with that. Uh, if you do that, you, you may send it to me by email and I will have a look at it and I will comment on it, inshallah. Well done. Ahsantum. Ma'asalama ila liqa fi amanillah.